What's up everyone? My name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer and today I'm going to show you how to design switch components in accordance with Google's material design guidelines. Switches are an element that are used primarily on mobile devices in order to configure settings. The switch is correctly toggled on, it'll slide to the right, and when it's successfully toggled off, it'll go to the left. You can only provide a text label that will describe what the switch does, but it's not a requirement. The first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. This is going to be 36 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. I'm going to add 10 pixels of border radius. We'll call this background, and that'll be the background for all of the switches. I'm going to change this to be heavy primary for the enabled state and for the disabled state, I'll make the set darker gray. Next, I'm going to create a circle here. This will be 20 pixels by 20 pixels. The background for the enabled state will be that heavy primary color. For the disabled one, it'll be white. And for both of these, we're going to add one stroke, which is one pixel away on the y-axis, and then a blur of one pixel. And then we're going to create a 10% opacity rather than 25, so it's a little less intense. We'll add a second shadow here. We'll have that be two pixels, and then we'll have that blur be two pixels as well. And then we'll change this to be 12. You can see you've got a little shadow here that's off of the switch itself. So when I put it over, it has a little bit of dimension to it. This is what it will look like when it's enabled. And this is what it will look like when it's disabled. Let's create a frame for this and create a frame for this. And we will call this on and we will call this off. And then that is our basic active state for both the on and off. But we're gonna make other states of this as well. So one version is disabled. There are instances where you can have a switch component that's just default on all the time or default off all the time, or you're not able to control it for some reason. If that's the case, we'll change this heavy primary to a medium primary and we'll change this to that heavy primary. So it just looks disabled. And we'll change this white to be at 100. And then we'll change this gray to be 300 and then that is our disabled state. There's three other states we need to make, hover, focused, and pressed. All of those are pretty similar, so I'm gonna duplicate this three more times, and then I'm gonna create a circle. We'll have this be 40 pixels by 40 pixels. Let's have this be that medium primary, and then I'm gonna set this to 50% opacity, and then I'm gonna paste this into this frame. I'm gonna make sure that it's aligned with this switch circle, and I'm gonna move it behind, like so. But let's actually take this and make it that primary, and then we're gonna change this to 10. This is the hover state for the focus state, we'll change this to 20. And then for the press state, we'll change this to 30. So you can see for hover versus focus versus press, the intensity of the opacity changes a little bit. So let's take this and we're gonna need to do the same thing down here, but rather than it being that purple, we're gonna have it be a gray. So I'm gonna change this to that 900 gray value. And then let's move this back and again, change it to 20 and we'll change it to 30. It feels a little intense, so let's change that to gray 600. I'm gonna make sure that thing wise is all look equal. And then let's remember that this this is enabled, this is disabled, this is hover, then we have focused and pressed. And then for these, it's actually the same states. This is just the off state. Go ahead and rename all of these accordingly. Now that I have all of these, I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go up to here to the diamond and save create component set. I will call this switch and then I will go to property and I will say state. And then I'm going to create another property. I'm gonna call this value on and the default value. All of these on top row, are on, which makes this value true, but all of these in the bottom are off, so that value is false. Now I'm gonna take one of these components and pull it out of the component set, and you see I can switch it on or off very easily, and then if I wanna change this to a focus state or a disabled or press state, I can easily do that, and I can look at both the on and off versions of that. And that's it, you now have a basic switch component set that you can use for any Google Material Design project. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of material design, switches, how to use them and how to create them if you're ever building a product that requires material design guidelines. Again, you'll use this in Android devices, but iOS has a different style of picker. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.